we've seen a, a revolution in my professional lifetime is uh, in basic research, how we understand how humans function in health and disease. But, but there hasn't been the, the, a commensurate uh, increase in our ability to diagnose, uh, treat and cure disease. And, and that is the translational problem. How do we get better at doing that? My name is Christopher Austin, and for almost 10 years, I was the founding director of the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences at the NIH. I've recently moved to flagship pioneering in Boston, where I'm a CEO partner. Well, NCATS focuses on, on the, the, the bottlenecks that prevent the treatments from being developed and, and getting to all the patients that need them. Uh, on the clinical side, uh, th there are a, a whole variety of, uh, of, of issues related to the design and conduct execution uh, of uh, studies which involve uh, human participants, uh, 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 so-called clinical trials. And that has tended to be a very slow process. It sometimes can take 10 years from beginning to end. And patients don't have that long. Patients cannot wait that long. And, 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 and so NCATS has developed a number of workarounds, or solutions to these problems. In my mind, both the opioid epidemic and the COVID pandemic have, have pointed up to us and to the scientific and medical community, and I think to the public, uh, this translational problem that that we need uh, better ways to get more treatments developed into all patient all patients who need them more quickly we were able to pivot to those uh, urgent public health needs in some very significant ways you know our interest as scientists is to is to make the world a better place uh, through understanding uh, our, our roles as physicians and as public health uh, professionals is to make the world a better place by getting those uh, treatments developed and gotten, getting them to all the patients who need them. And, and we're all aware that this process uh, for a variety of reasons is not as uh, hasn't delivered the goods as much as it as it might, and in many cases, and I've been in this situation and other uh, positions I've had in my career, I had to just use the current system, the system that was in place that everyone knew was inefficient and ineffective, but for a variety of reasons, we didn't have the mission to change it to change it, to bring the promise of science to patients in need. That is what translational scientists do. And it is the greatest privilege one can ever have.